So I have unpacked my Austria wardrobe. Go wear a sound music dress. This dress has a very nice sort of Maria silhouette. Although I ironed it at home, that was not time well spent. <laughs> And hopefully I won't need my rain jacket. It is, it is a little cloudy right now, but tomorrow it's supposed to be partly sunny at least. And it does not seem to be raining, so I might chance it without the rain jacket. We'll see. Hotel Imlauer und Brau. This room turns the corner and then the uh, entrance is back here. For Switzerland, I had Swiss nails for Austria. I have Austrian nails. They didn't turn out quite as well, but we're gonna go with it. So here's some of my list of things. This place, Alchemy Coffee, has amazing reviews. So I kinda wanna go to that. And I kinda wanna hear the Carillon, the um, Glockenspiel in Mozart's Plaza, because this is where Mozart was born. Our hotel was a very convenient walk from the station. There go the trains, and I think it's not a far walk from the old town either, so we're gonna head out there soon. So we're on the third floor here, which of course is the fourth floor, because in Europe, oh wow, look at that. The um, first floor is level zero. This is the lobby of the Hotel Imlauer und Brau. Ooh, those look like hip chairs. So I believe this street should turn into Mirabelle Plots and Mirabelle Gardens are where some of the Sound of Music uh, scenes were filmed. I watched Sound of Music on the plane and I've been listening to the soundtrack on so ready. There's the Hohen Salzburg, the castle up there. I think are these the stairs? These are the stairs right here. They part of it is filmed down there as well. <laughs> Did you hear people were singing when you know that? I like these lines. I don't think they made it into Sound of Music, but they're pretty great. Not as many people must know about the Arbor because this is not as crowded as the other spots. So there's the long Arbor. It really stretches along, doesn't it? I like that. And the guys with the fists are somewhere very near here that they walk past. It's so beautiful. I know it's a gray day, but it's still pretty great. There they are, I spot them. Isn't it surprising how many people are just walking through that and not doing so a needle pulling thread? We obviously had to wait and get the shot. My brothers surprisingly do not want to pose in Sound of Music poses, even mother in Salzburg. I know these lock bridges are super hip and everything, but they always make me feel like they're eventually going to weigh down the bridge and it will fall into the water.
tanning just a little bit. But that's why I have a rain jacket. It was only a 40% chance of rain, so that's why I didn't go for the umbrella. Whoa. Those are awesome stairs. I think we're trying to find the oldest restaurant. Is it in Europe? Or just in, in um, Austria? It's near St. Peter's. Look, a cow made of buttons. Well, I bet the flowers like the rain. This is the cathedral. One time when I came, when I last came to Salzburg, it was Christmas time and there was snow. And now there's rain. <laughs> Surprisingly, the church where Maria gets married in Sound of Music is not in Salzburg. It's outside, it's in another town in Austria. So for dinner, we were headed to St. Peter's Stiftskillinarium. I gave the pronunciation a shot. It is reputedly the oldest restaurant in Europe. There was a restaurant here in 803 AD. It is connected. It's within the walls of St. Peter's Abbey. And St. Peter's Abbey was founded in like the 600s. We thought it would be the perfect place to try a dessert that Salzburg is famous for. You'll see it at lots of restaurants. It's the Salzburger Knockerl. It's made with no fewer than seven eggs. Everything we tried was absolutely delicious. And it was so amazing the way they presented it. Like the soup that I got. When when it initially came out, it was just those little pastries alone in the bowl. And then they had a jug of beef broth that they came and poured over it. So it was so fresh, so delicious. You can see how they're serving up my brother's um, boiled beef meal. All the side dishes, they like put on each one on the plate individually. Everything we tried was just so good. Athos got these chanterelle mushrooms with pureed broccoli. It was such a memorable meal and the dessert hadn't even arrived yet. So the chanterelles wow, and the beef. What a presentation, serving it all out right there. The Salzburger Knockerl, when it arrived, also had a awesome presentation. It was so fun to watch him carve it up and put each piece out on the plate. They said that one would serve about four people, but honestly, it was like the kitchen sink at Beaches and Cream at Disney World. You need a whole team to finish it. <laughs> the open windows because hey, we can hear hey, the rain. Hey, Bookish Kingdom. Guess what, Emily? Your video is being hijacked. Well, don't tell them about the fly. Oh my god. Look at the, that fly. Can you see it? <laughs> Alright, Bookish Kingdom. You guys We're have vassals for... of Emma. You have an assignment. Smash the like button to destroy the fly. For every like, I will personally kill a fly you for every single like. Why? Let's We're go up to ten. Let's go up to thirty thousand likes. This is beautiful, historic. It's an Austrian fly. It's an Austrian fly. <laughs> this kid. I should. I should invite it to finish my knock girl. I just can't. It's so. Not cloying. That's the wrong word. It's just so so filling. I only had soup, like I didn't have that much. And we hadn't eaten for a long time before that. Because not like I was full. I was, wow, it, dart though. Dart, fly or no fly, is just putting it away over here. Tastes like air. Tastes like air? It does not taste like air. It's, oh, well, I guess it has a light quality to it and yet sort of heavy taste. Or is it the other way around? A heavy quality and a light taste. It's not filling at all. It's not filling really at all. Nope. <laughs> Later tonight. <laughs> they said that the three peaks of it represent the three mountains around Salzburg. Wow, this is quite a place. Oh my gosh. I came up to find the bathroom, but it's fun to explore. Look at all these rooms. On their website, they were saying that they have like events and stuff here because they have lots of different rooms. And downstairs is so pretty too. Wow, look at that! So cool. 
Yeah, there's the restroom symbol. Come back downstairs. Whoa, that's quite a chandelier. Such a cool room. There's a cool room down here too. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the vaulted. So cool. Not sure who this guy is. So these musical notes are places where Sound of Music film was filmed, and I think there's actually one Dome Cathedral. This is, we're back here. Look, they must have filmed part of it here. Wow, this is nice seating. My mom thinks they might have filmed some of it back there. I don't know. 